Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I'm a retired teacher, wife, mom, and a grandma. I love putting together lessons for my grandson, and I like to share the free printables with my subscribers. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Today, I'm going to share with you some Montessori-inspired, fun, hands-on, letter G activities. Remember that many of these printables that I share with you are perfect for a child's learning binder. The first activity is a literacy activity and a vocabulary building activity. As usual, I'm going to have lots of books available. We're going to be reading Good Night Gorilla. I'm going to be using books with letters because we're going to talk about the letter G. I really like this book. It's a lift the flap book. And for this week's lesson, I went ahead and put a picture of a gorilla for the letter G. I have lots of other books that we're going to be using. This one, my G book, I have an activity that we're going to be doing with this little book. For this activity, I am going to be using some alphabet learning locks. These are from Lakeshore. I like that it comes with 26 locks and 26 keys. I like that they're the perfect size. It has the uppercase letter and the key has the lowercase letter. For this activity, I went ahead and put a picture of a gorilla. This lock for the letter G has a goat, but for today's lesson, I'm using a gorilla. The key has the lower case, and what our child is going to do is match the letters, the uppercase with the lowercase, and then open the lock. Super cute locks. We're using the letter M, the letter E for elephant, and the letter Z for zebra. Since we're going to be talking about the book Goodnight Gorilla and the zookeeper and the zoo. Learning the letters and the sounds connected to each letter is very important because the ABCs are the building blocks of language. For this week, we're going to be focusing on the letter G, both the uppercase and the lowercase, and we're going to focus on the hard sound of G, as in gorilla. For this next activity, I went ahead, after we read our book, I went ahead and set up a little zoo for my grandson, and I'm using some little boxes, boxes that I already had at home, and some animals. These are from Dollar Tree. You get um, eight for a dollar. These are little zoo animals. I'm using some little locks. And so what we're going to do is just free the animals. We're gonna put the key, we're going to turn in, and we're going to 
free each of the little animals. We're going to be doing that with all of the little locks. You can also put a letter on the lock and then for the key, I went ahead and used some of these little key tags. These are from Dollar Tree. And I put the lowercase g and the uppercase g on the other side. So what my grandson is going to do is just match and match the letters and open the little locks. Super fun activity. For this next activity, I put together a story basket. I'm using our book. I'm using some plastic animals. I'm using some people. These are from our Duplo Legos. I put some keys. I found this little light. It's like a little flashlight, super cute. And what my grandson is going to do is play with this and retell the story. He's going to play with it and say the story. I included these animals because these are kind of hard to find with plastic animals. The hyena and the armadillo and I also included the a picture of the little mouse that carries the banana around. I'll go ahead and link this below if you want to use them. This is just such a fun way for children to retell a story. For this next activity, we're going to be using this book. This is my G book. Super cute book. There's little G, a little girl, little G, and she has a box. And she is going to fill the box with things that begin with a G sound. So I went ahead and got some things. We have one of the little people, I just put a letter G here. And so we are going to put them in our G box. And we have a goose, a guitar, we have Grover, grapes, and so on. Another thing that you can do if it's a nice day, you can actually take the things outside and just put them all around the yard and then have your child go and find the items that belong in the G box. This next activity, I created this printable. We are going to be using Dua Dot markers and dotting the letter G. We did this earlier. Another thing that you can do is put it in your child's learning binder 
and use a manipulative or some stickers to put on the letter G as we say the G sound. For this activity, I created this printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. We're going to cover the letter G, the uppercase and the lowercase. I'm using this manipulative, but you can use whatever you have at home. So all we're going to do is cover uppercase and lowercase letter G. For this next activity, we're going to be reviewing shapes. I created this printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. We're just going to be matching the shapes. Heart. Rectangle. For this activity, we're going to be forming the letter G using some pattern blocks. I'll go ahead and link this below. What I did, I put a Velcro dot and one on each of the pattern blocks. So my grandson is going to form the letter G using the pattern blocks. You don't need to put the Velcro dots, but he likes to form the letter and then he likes to show me the letter picking it up and the little pattern blocks won't fall off. This next activity is a number order activity. We're going to be finding the missing numbers. We have one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to find six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Another thing that you can do with this printable is if you want to put the numbers here, the missing numbers, now we're going to use some Unifix blocks and count. One. Let's do two. Three. One, two. Three. And so on. For this next activity, we are going to be using this Play-Doh mat. It has the uppercase and the lowercase letter G. We're going to form the letter using Play-Doh first. So we use Play-Doh to form our letters. Now tomorrow I can still use the same printable but I'm going to use a manipulative. I'm using these rocks that we painted to look like gold, gold nuggets, and we're going to form the letter G using our gold nuggets. Or you can use pom-poms 
or whatever you have at home. For this activity, I printed a picture of a gorilla. Then we made a bed out of a paper sack and we put a little pillow and we're just going to have fun playing with a gorilla. There's his keys and there's the little mouse with the banana. I hope you enjoy the activities I had for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.